Hello YouTube, Beer Prepper here. As you can see, my garden is still going pretty good. These aren't huge, but they're good size. I got my green peppers from today. My um, These are supposed to be sweet peppers, but I think I planted them too close to my jalapenos. So they're kind of a hot sweet pepper. And we have my jalapenos. There's like this much still on the plant. Cherry tomatoes are still going hog wild. Of course, they're much smaller now. We have a couple of things of sage here that I'm finishing up, and we have a bowl of basil. So, not giving up on my garden was a good idea. But mainly what I wanted to talk to you about today is, is I wanted to talk to you about people. Um, most of you know that I end all my statements or my videos with the word blessings. There is a song from Laura Story called Blessings. And what I'm trying to do is, is wish each of you the understanding of that. And if you're curious of what it is, you can find it on YouTube. Just look up Laura Story Blessings. But what made me realize how important this was, was I have a friend that had been sick for about 12 years, bedridden for about five that I had been helping take care of, and, and love, and be with, and make her not be alone. And uh, about nine months ago, we almost lost her, both emotionally and physically. And uh, um, the Lord saw fit to give her back to us. But not only did He give her back to us, He gave her back to us emotionally and physically, something that hadn't been there for many, many years for her family or for her husband. And we got her back 100%. A couple weeks ago, she died unexpectedly in her sleep. And it was a real shock to all of us because she was doing better than she had in years. But I think the Lord saw it in his heart Excuse me. But I think the Lord saw it in his heart that relationships needed to be rebuilt with her family. And through this last nine months, she has been able to rebuild those relationships with her family and heal a lot of wounds that otherwise wouldn't have been healed and would have made her death so much more painful. I know that her passing away was extremely painful because everyone had rebuilt those relationships. But what people don't understand is the guilt that you live with if you don't take the time is worse than the guilt you live with if you do. One of my philosophies in life, since I was a little kid, because of things that I had gone through in my life, I believe that there's good in everybody. And it's our job as people and loving, godly people to find that good and focus on that good. Because the more you focus on the good instead of the bad, the more good that you're going to see. And I think that's a, a valuable lesson. My loss runs deep. And I'm not sure when I will be back to continue as I was. It's just a little difficult right now. I've known her for almost 20 years. And been an integral part of her life for the last 20 years. And so my hope for all of you is to find those relationships for those that used to be important to you or that are important to you and spend the time and energy with them. Give them the moments in your life because there's going to come a point in time where you no longer have those moments and you don't want to have any regrets or any guilt. You want to experience the loss of them 
and sadness for them just not being there. But the loss of guilt is, is just so much worse. So thank you for giving me this time to say what I needed to say. And, uh, it, you know, in that last video you heard her laughing in the background, her, her cell phone going off in the middle of it. And those are the moments I'll remember. So I wish you all blessings. And I hope that you find that even through the bad, the Lord has a reason. Blessings.